Greg Chick here, and welcome to Q&A Tuesday. The first question is from Lego Guy the Builder, who asked, What are your thoughts about the Lego Modular Creator Poolside Holiday Set? Alright, here are the official pictures from LEGO for the Creator Modular Poolside Holiday Set. This set costs $30 and has 356 pieces, so that's a pretty good deal. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts on this set, and then I'll talk about what I think about the new modular system that this set has a little later on in this video. So here's the main picture for this set, and I have to say for a small Creator House set, this set actually looks pretty good. I like the color scheme for this house with the red roof, tan walls, and then I like the use of the dark blue as an accent color with the door and then the window. I believe that is a new color for both of those pieces, so that's really cool. I would love to get a dark blue door. I think that'd look really good with a custom house. And then there's just lots of stuff going on here. You have a ping pong table, or some people call it table tennis. That looks really good. You have your two mini figures, one of the skateboard, one of some ice cream. I really like how this pool looks. You have the inflatable duck there, a small diving board. I like the orange color on that. That looks good. Nice pop of color. I like the landscaping. There's this interesting looking fountain thing on the side of the house there. That's pretty cool. You get a just plain red electric guitar. You get a little table here. I like that. I like how the roof looks. You have a little chimney up here and then this really cool barbecue grill. And then there's lots of nice flowers along the edge there. And then here's a picture of the box there. And then that's just a picture of the same bill, just from a different angle. I like how this um, part of the grass here is kind of angled. I think that looks good. It kind of adds some, uh, you know, a nice shape to it. I think that looks good. Here's the same build. Okay, here we go. Here's the second build. This is called Skate Park Holiday. This looks pretty cool. I think it's a interesting idea. You know, I like that they kind of went away from the traditional house and they decided to do something new and fun. I think the, you know, the skate ramp looks pretty good. I like how they have this little um, small pond over here. I guess that's pretty cool. Up on the roof, there's kind of this terrace section here. I really like that there's a small plant. Girl has a camera. I think this looks pretty good. I like it. And then here's the third build, which is called Garage Band Holiday, I believe. I think this looks good. I don't know what I think about the idea of it. You know, it's creative. I'm just, you know, this is definitely my least favorite of the builds. I do like this giant, uh, you know, ridiculously big speaker though. And then you have, looks like some drums in there. I have a couple guitars. Looks pretty good. I like this roof section here. There's this tree up here. You know, the front door looks nice. There's some stone. Looks pretty good. And then let's see, what is this? If it will load here. Come on. Oh, this is just an example of one of the super bolts that you can build if you get all three of these new modular style creator houses. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like this is from a different set. I don't think that's from this set. That might have been a mistake. Oh, these are just some combinations you can do with some of the super bolts. Okay, that was a little bit confusing. Okay, here's the boy minifigure in this set, and then here is the little girl. So I think this is a cool set. I definitely don't like it as much as the other two modular creator house sets, but I think it looks good. I like the color scheme, like I said. I think it's a neat idea to have three vacation-themed builds. You know, you have one at the pool, one at the skate park, and then one where you're playing in a band, so I think that's pretty cool. The next question is also from LEGO Guide Builder who asked, what are your thoughts about the LEGO Modular Creator Modern Home set? All right, so these are the pictures for the modular modern home, which is also $30, just like the last set, but this one has 30 more pieces. It has 386 pieces, so it's a little bit bigger. I think this is a neat idea for a set, you know, a modern home. I think it looks pretty good, and let's take a look at some of those pictures. So here's the main picture of this set, and I think this looks pretty good. I like the, you know, idea of a modern home. I like all the big windows. I like the skylight thing that opens up. This balcony looks good with the umbrella and chair. There's this cool trampoline over here. These um, bush plant things in the front of the house look really good. It's very simple. I've never thought of putting those two pieces together, but that looks really, really good. I really like that. There's this electric car over here, which, you know, it's a very small car, but I like the idea of it. You know, it's a modern home. You have an electric car. They have the charging station here. I like the lime green color. Looks good. You get the too many figures. Little boy has a remote control for this helicopter here. And then there's this brick-built pug. I think that's what it is. It's some brick-built dog. 
and looks all right. I don't think they could have done it any better. It just looks a little weird with the giant eyes, but I guess pugs do have big eyes, so it's pretty cute though. I like it. I like the inclusion of this uh, medium blue color. I think that kind of adds some color to this. I like all the use of the brown, you know, to create kind of the wooden look. This section looks a little bit messy to me with the, you know, the windowsill with the flowers and you have the little section of brick here and then you have this light up here. It's just a lot going on in one place. I don't really like how that looks there. And then looking at the rest of the pictures, here's the picture of the box here. Here's another picture of the main build, another one from a different angle. I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's a good looking small creator house set. I really like the idea of it. Okay, so this is the second build. This is the lakeside home. This looks pretty good. I like this dock area. They have, you know, kind of the different shades of blue in here with the translucent pieces and stuff. It kind of makes it look like the water's moving. I like that. I like this dock here. You can come right out to the dock from the door there. There's a little dock, you know, a little bench, stuff like that. I don't know what this is supposed to be up on the roof here. Telescope? Oh yeah, yeah, that's probably a telescope. That's pretty cool. And then here's a picture with the other minifigure. I think it looks pretty good, but this section looks a little weird with the, you know, it just looks like the brick is kind of just thrown in there. I don't really like that. And then there's just a, you know, some, a plant growing on there or something, some ivy or something. I don't really like how that looks. And then here's the third build. This is the garden home. I think this is a kind of weird, interesting looking house. So weird that it actually works for me. I really like how this roof section is angled. That just looks so cool and modern. You know, that just is some very interesting architecture there. Uh, this is supposed to be a garden gnome. I actually really like that. It has the two eyes, beard, red hat. I like this. I've never thought of using these lampshade pieces to make trees, but I guess we've never gotten them in green before, I don't think. So you haven't been able to do that. So I'll have to get some of these on Bricklink. Those are going to be really useful pieces. You have some other plants over here. This is interesting. It's like a seating area, but it's like a seesaw. So you can move back and forth. I think that'd be really fun. If I had one of those, I'd be messing around on that all the time. You have a big window here. I think this looks good. Oh, I'm guessing this comes with the lakeside home build. It's like a canoe. It looks all right. I'm not crazy about how that looks, but it looks pretty good. And then here's uh, the little boy, and I guess you can build a dog with one of these builds. And then there's this helicopter. Lego Guy the Builder also asked, what are your thoughts about the Lego Modular Creator Family Villa set? All right, here's the Creator Modular Family Villa set. This is the largest of these three new modular Creator House sets. This is $70 and has 728 pieces, so good deal. I think it looks really good from the outside of this main build here. Here, I'll expand that so you can see it a little bit better. I just really like how this looks from the outside with the colors. You know, you have the white with the red roof, even some dark red slopes in there. That looks good. I like the use of uh, kind of like this aqua color and the yellow over some of the windows. You know, the yellow front door it just all looks really good together, I feel like. So there are three minifigures in this set and then a dog. I like this um, yard area over here with the doghouse, apple tree, fireplace. Looks really good. I like this window here with the birdhouse and the flowers. This window looks really good. There's even a mailbox and a covered porch. This is actually a piece used on the tops of cars. I think that was really cool to use that for the roof over the porch. Uh, this is weird. I don't like how the basketball hoop is just on the front of the house there. It just kind of looks like it was thrown together with some random colors and stuff in there. I don't really like that. Garage, you know, looks good. There's this little balcony over here. I think it looks good. Let's look at the rest of the pictures. There's the box. And then here's the house with all the minifigures and stuff. I just think this looks like a good looking house. I like Creator House sets. And then this one has pretty detailed interior. You got small kitchen, table there. It looks like this is a double-sided fireplace. You have it on the inside and on the outside. Garage is really, really tight. I do like that they included a garage though, so I'm not going to complain that it's really small. Uh, balcony, you know, there's a chair. There's stairs to get up to that. I like that, that there's actually access to the second floor, most crater house sets, you just have to use your imagination, which is fine. But it's nice when there are actually some stairs. Looks like this is like a living room slash bedroom. There's a nice looking bed here, a lamp, a couch, and a little table. And I wish there was, you know, stuff on the inside of the roof. I feel like that was kind of wasted space. But unfortunately, there's just no good way to get in there. Here's the second build, which is called the Golf Hotel. I think this is a really cool idea for a build since it's not exactly a house. It's kind of a small hotel. I think that's really cool. I like the idea of that. 
So it's most of the hotel. You have a small golf course over here, which is really just one hole, but it looks good. You have an open waterfall, lots of flowers, like this front window here, there's a mailbox, this covered awning area, you know, there's uh, the red roof slopes over all the windows, which I think looks good. This is supposed to be, I think, a simulated sign, which would say like hotel on it. I'm glad they didn't put a sticker on that though. I don't really think, yeah, I don't think they've ever used stickers in creator sets, which I really like. There's kind of this balcony area up here for this top room here. And does it show the inside? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, well. Well, the inside's cool. I've seen pictures on the inside, but there are just, you know, some beds in there and some multiple rooms. So I think this looks really good from the outside. I like the idea of it. And then is this the last build here? If it'll load. Okay, this is the third build, which is called the Summer Villa. This one looks a lot smaller than the other two builds. I think this uses barely any pieces or it could use a lot, you know, just really uh, compacted in there. I think this looks good. Uh, there's this nice covered porch here, I like these with the yellow. There's this pretty flowering tree. Got this cool, like, panini press out here. That's really cool. You can chop some wood. There's a pool, nice big window. I like how the roof looks. I think this is really cool. I really like it. This is the very small yellow car that comes with the main build, the family villa here. You know, I'm not crazy about how it looks, but it's really cool when you put the minifigure in there, their feet press a light brick and activates that, and then it turns on the headlights, which I think is really, really cool. It's a very creative idea. This is the golf cart, which comes with the golf hotel build. It looks good. I like that you can even fit a golf club in there. And then I think this is stuff that comes with the Summer Villa build. That's really cool. There's a lawnmower, and it looks like this kid is uh, driving around a remote control car. All right, and now, as promised, here are my thoughts about the modular system that these three Crater House sets use. Well, there are definitely pros and cons about this modular system. I think it's very cool that you can reconfigure the houses, you know, be creative, customize it, make it your own. But I feel like if that's the main focus of the set and that really takes away from how the set looks and functions, then I don't like it. I feel like it works with this larger build here. You know, you can configure it. There are some difficulties like where the garage goes, you know, it could go into the kitchen or something like that and the basketball hoop and stuff like that. But I feel like it kind of works with this larger build. I feel like it it kind of adds to it, um, you know, it's a cool aspect of the set, but I feel like with the two smaller sets, there's just really not much you can do. It's already a very small house, and then moving stuff around just really doesn't do much, and I feel like that kind of takes away from the set. There's not as much detail. There are some weird-looking areas of the builds because, you know, they had to make it modular. So I think it's a cool idea. I think they, you know, used it to the best of their ability, in these sets, but I just feel like it just takes too much away from these sets. I would much rather have just three normal Crater House sets. You guys know I love Crater House sets, and now I don't like them as much knowing that they have this modular system that kind of takes away from the sets. Like this one is, you know, it looks good. There are some areas that look a little weird, but I think it works with this set. And when I first heard that there were going to be three new Crater House sets this summer, I got so excited because I love Crater House sets. I buy most of them that come out. And I don't know, I just, I have mixed feelings about this modular uh, system. Once, I'll probably get at least one of these sets. And once I get it, maybe I'll change my mind about that. But just from looking at these pictures and seeing how the modular system works, I don't really know if I like it. And then finally, LEGO Guy the Builder asked, what are your thoughts about the 2017 LEGO Minecraft Mountain Cave set? Alright, so here are the pictures for the LEGO Minecraft The Mountain Cave set, which is coming out July 1st. So it'll be coming out in a little less than a month. This is a very big set. It is definitely the largest Minecraft set that LEGO has made so far. It is $250, but it has over 2,800 pieces. So that's definitely a good deal, a good price to part ratio. So I think this looks really cool. I mean, there's just, it's hard to focus on one thing. There's so much going on here. It looks really good. I just love how they built this up and there's this cool waterfall here and like the, you know, the minecart can come down here. There's tracks down here. It looks really good. Uh, there's some trees and stuff here. I don't really know a lot about Minecraft, so this isn't going to be like an official review or whatever. I don't know what most of this stuff is called. So I'm just not even going to try, so I'll just embarrass myself. 
here's the box, here's another picture of it. It just looks really cool. It looks like a fun playset. It just looks really good. I think Minecraft sets are really cool the way they're built up and they have some cool pieces and just lots of bricks. You know, you really get a good deal when you get a Minecraft set, I feel like. There's like a little bedroom here with like a bed, looks like a picture on the wall, a map maybe. There's a torch, looks pretty cool. Here's a sheep there, it looks like there's a pumpkin in there. Uh, some pictures of the tracks going through the mountain there. Looks like some sort of dungeon here with some spider webs. And then I, that's not Steve, this is Steve. And <laughs> that's pretty much all I know about Minecraft because I just, you know, I don't play Minecraft, so I don't know. That's a skeleton. Wait, that's a skeleton there. Clicked on the wrong picture. Sheep, wolf, lots of cool stuff. I mean, this definitely looks like a very cool set. You definitely get a good deal with this set. And I know Minecraft set lovers are going to love this set because you just get a lot of pieces, a lot of minifigures, a lot of animals, and it just looks like a really fun set. And so that concludes this episode of Q&A Tuesday. I hope that answered all of you guys' questions, and if you guys have any more questions for me, please put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe so that you know when I make new videos. And thanks for watching, guys.